Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jay here and welcome back to another episode of Take 2. Now today we're taking a look at the name SuperNate 3 integrated amplifier for around $5,000. And in this video, I'm going to add my two cents to my experience with the name SuperNate 3 in this current price category of $5,000 or so. But um, the actual review, the, the detailed review that you should go and read is in the description below this box and is written by Roger Cano on September 1st, 2020. And again, you can read it by going to soundstagehifi.com or by clicking on the link below this video. And I urge you to take a read because it's a very detailed review and if you're interested in what the name SuperNate 3 is all about, that's where you should go. But in this video, I'm going to give you my two cents on my experience with the SuperNate 3. Now the SuperNate 3 is a integrated amplifier from NAME that outputs 80 watts per channel into 8 ohms and 130 watts per channel into 4 ohm loads. Now the history with NAME gear and myself goes way back. Like when I first owned my magnet pans and people know that, you know, if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I have a thing for magnet pan speakers and I've had a lot of magnet pan speakers in the past. And that speaker, the magnet pan speaker is a speaker that needs a lot of current from my understanding. And so there's a lot of the speakers out there. Um, current is really good for driving capability of speakers. And at the time, name was literally the only thing that really could drive the magnet pans. Um, now we have Hegel and all these other gear as well that we found that can be driven by magnet pan speakers. But at the end of the day, the name gear really, really sounded good with the magnet pan speakers and a lot of the demanding speakers out there. And that's partially due to the high current nature of the name gear. Now, because it's enclosed in this chassis that's metal and big, um, and it can't be dissected, the picture of the internals will be in the actual review that you'll be re reading. Um, Roger Kennel, I think, took a very nice picture of the internals. But if you take a look there, what you'll find is that the internals are very simple. And I've got this a lot from people. People say, how can it sound so good, Jay, when everything is almost empty inside? Well, it's not about the number of components like I always talk about. It's the quality of the components and how you, you know, structure things inside the circuit. So what might actually catch your eye when you take a look at the internal is the toroidal transformer, the massive circular thing. And that is the most important thing uh, when it comes to an amplifier. The quality of the transformer is very important. Also, it is a very important factor into the name's high current nature of their amplifiers. Now, the other thing is the attention to detail in the unit is fabulous. So for example, the RCA and the DIN connectors are actually right on the chassis to minimize any vibrations that would come from uh, the connectors actually vibrating. So the circuit and the um, RCA is completely separate and it's wired directly to the PCB board so that there's no vibrations going into the PCB board of the unit. And it comes with this remote. Now this remote, and it might be just one of the things that you may just pass by, but I've gotten a lot of remotes in my time of reviewing things. Uh, as you can imagine, I've played around with you know cheapy little plastic remotes to chunky metal remotes but this really thinks about the end user. It is plastic from my understanding, it looks like it's plastic, but it's so sturdy. It's not gonna break anytime soon, yet it's light. So attention to detail has always been something with name. So when you listen to name gear, you get that sense of attention to detail even in their sound signature. So I've seen a lot of people, including myself, go, that sounds neutral. Name sounds neutral, but is it neutral? Because it's so fun. It has slam, has body to the sound, you know, yet it sounds neutral. Well, the one thing I would th say about name is that it brings out the best in a speaker, in my opinion. Now, if the speaker is 
bright or has bright character characteristics, um, then it won't hide that. So I've seen a lot of people pair up a speaker with a tube amplifier and says, oh, that sounds better than name. Well, arguably that is possible, but at the same time, I also believe that name brings out what the speaker is meant to sound like. It doesn't color anything in this pathway, at least far as I can tell. And when you listen to name, that's the same goes for the recordings as well, in my opinion, of course. Um, it doesn't hide anything. So if you play modern recordings that are poorly recorded, then you hear all those sibilances and mistakes in the mastering and mixing procedures and what, whatnot. But when you hear well-recorded music, you are pleasantly surprised. And then there is the wattage rating of 80 watts per channel into 8 ohms and 130 watts into 4 ohms like I've mentioned. It doesn't sound like an 80 watt per channel amplifier. It sounds like at least like 200 and 250 watts per, uh, per side. And Neem has always been conservative in terms of his wattage ratings. But I've never seen Neem struggle driving a speaker. Almost never. And that's something to be said. Um, power rating is not always everything. And Neem has always been able to have tremendous driving capability of very difficult loads of speakers. Now in terms of inputs and outputs, it's pretty standard. It's a integrated amplifier with a preamp and an amplifier. And it has upgrade options down the road where you can add separate power supplies to the unit um, down the road. Now you can read more about that in the actual review in the description below by Roger Cano because he goes into depth about that kind of stuff. But I'm not gonna talk too much about that in this video because I want to concentrate on the sound. So the sound of the name uh, Super Nate 3, it has really good bass. I mean, really good bass. If you hook up another solid state amplifier or a tube amplifier or whatever, even Krell um, from the days back and switch it back to name, the first thing you notice is the slam, the transients, the, the, the gut to the sound. And I've seen so many people so surprised when name starts to hit really hard. It slams, it kicks really hard, and you know, pe people feel it with their body and they're like, oh my God, that's, that's incredible. And I know you guys are gonna ask, how does it compare to Hegel? Because Hegel is similar to that in terms of his slamming capability. Well, at least the Super Nate 3, um, in my opinion, and from what I heard, slams harder than the Hegel H. 390, in my opinion. In terms of its slamming capability, in terms of its quickness in the bass region, in terms of its gut in the sound, the Super Nate 3 surpasses a lot of the components out there. And the mid-range characteristic of the Super Nate 3 is just absolutely stunning. Um, it doesn't, like I said, doesn't hide anything of the nature of the actual instrument or the singer or the recording. So if you hear a guitar pluck and it has that sibilance going on in the recording, then it's gonna show all that. But a guitar sounds like a guitar. A saxophone sounds like a saxophone as closely as possible as if someone was playing in the room. And Super Nate 3 does that to a great, great extent. Um, even more so than some of the Hegel components out there that I've tried. And that says a lot because I've you know, I, I personally really like the Hegel units in terms of that kind of capability. So the tonal characteristic of the instruments is really, really nice in the mid-region. Male vocals and female vocals are also very clear, and that mid-range has gut to the sound. So it's not only the bass that you feel with your body, but you also feel the singer, the, the instruments with your body in the mid uh, frequency region as well. And I think that's what separates a really good amplifier and speaker combination and a not so good speaker and amplifier combination. Um, I think that's what really separates it. It's when you feel the music, the entirety of it with your body um, rather than just your ears. And bass, that's very normal for a lot of the combinations. But the combination I had was the Alta Alex speakers with the Super Nate 3, and I thought this to be a fabulous match. Just incredible, incredible match. The mid-range just 
I felt every instrument, every vocal, I felt it with my body. And that was an incredible experience. And you come to the high frequency, and the high frequency is just so clean. Yet it's not brittle. And that has a lot to do with the speakers, in my opinion. Because the name, like I said, doesn't, doesn't hide anything. So if your speakers are bright in its natural characteristics, then it's going to show that. So just very quickly, the Alta Alex speakers, I find it to be very smooth on the top end, very detailed, but at the same time, it's just smooth, just silky smooth, it's not bright whatsoever. But that changes with the amplification, as, you know, as I've said. So if I had, I had pairings where amplifiers made the speakers sound a little bit more edgy, a little bit more tad brighter than it really was. And when I had name gear, because of my past experience with name being a little bit you know, brighter on the top end uh, without realizing that it may have been actually the speakers. I was like, oh, okay, okay, uh, you know, let's try this out, see how it goes. But when I actually hooked it up, it was just boom. The, the high frequency was silky smooth, no harshness whatsoever. It just gave more of what the Alec was capable of already doing. And compared to a lot of the amplifiers I've heard, one thing is that imaging is so much more clean and crisp and pinpoint with this integrated amplifier. Anyone that is in this belief that amplifiers can improve imaging capability, you have to hear this because it improves, it focuses the sound of the speakers so much better. And there's no other way to explain it. It's just more pinpoint. So imaging, if it's important for you, definitely consider name Supernate 3. The sound staging is interesting. The sound staging um, actually gets pulled back a little bit behind the speakers, which is the way you want it, but it gets a little bit, it gives that a little bit of room and depth to the sound so that you can experience the sound as if it's coming um, from a stage. So that just gives you a little bit more breathing room and less forwardness in the sound presentation overall. And that of course gives you the effect of layering between instruments, not only you know uh, sideways from speaker to speaker or left to right, but also front to back. So in conclusion, I believe that the Supernate 3 is an integrated amplifier that brings out the best of what the speaker is capable of doing and also at the same time, not hiding anything of what the speaker is not capable of doing or lacks. So that is my take on the Name Supernate 3. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Click that thumbs up button if you liked the video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys on the next one.